so our topic for today, my children, are how are is lang pala. How long are you contagious with COVID nineteen? So it's been a, a topic of debate, no? Because if you guys remember, or do you remember? No, I know August, no April, may nilabas yung CDC. Sabi nila yung isolation uh, time daw or yung quarantine period nasa seven days lang daw. Tapos after daw nun po, hindi ka na daw na magpakita ulit or humalubi, makihalubi yung mga tao sa paligid mo. Pero ngayon, merong nilabas recently yung CDC. Ang sabi nila doon na you are actually uh, uh, still contagious ng 10-day period. So after 10 days, kung, kung dati 7 lang, nagdagdag sila ng 3 days, Ngayon, 10 days na yung period para masabi na hindi ka na contagious. Pero meron tong qualifier. So ano yung qualifier? Mm-hmm. Yung first qualifier would be, uh, this is, o oh, sige, nagpa-test ka, nagpa-swab test ka, nagpositive ka sa swab test. Ngayon, kung ikaw ay symptomatic, dun mo uumpisahan mm-hmm. yung bilang mo. So once your symptoms come out, kunyari, nagka-symptom ka ng August 1, Lumabas yung fever, lumabas yung cough, August 1. So, ibig sabihin nun, hanggang August 10, you are actually contagious. Wala pa dun yung incubation period that that, was, that is supposed to be before August 1. Kasi alam naman thumbs. natin na yung uh, incubation period is different from isolation period. Yung incubation period is yes. yung from the time na uh, nagkaroon ka nung na, nahawak at the time virus. na lumabas, oo, lumabas yung symptoms mo. Yun yung incubation period. Ngayon, yung isolation period would be from the time that you have the symptom, day one, to 10 days after. Ngayon, para masabi mo na safe ka na, kailangan at least 24 hours na wala kang lagnat. Yun ay kung hindi ka uminom ng para sa lagnat. Yes. Kasi cheating yun. Kung uminom ka ng para sa lagnat, tapos sinabi mo na, kunyari, 10th day ko na ngayon. E eh, nilagnat ako. E eh, sabi ng CDC, 10 days lang daw ang contagion, ang contagious uh, period. So, iinom na lang ako ng paracetamol ngayon para bukas pwede na akong lumabas. Cheating po ang tawag doon. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka dapat, uh, yung 24 hours period na sinasabi na wala kang lagnat, dapat wala kang iniinom na kahit na anong gamot para masabing hindi ka na talaga contagious. So again, the qualifier would be 10 days from time of onset of symptoms and 24 hours na fever-free yung pasyente. Ngayon, nagpa-test ako ng swab test. Pero asymptomatic ako. Never ako nag-fever, never ako nag-ubo, never ako nag-sore throat. Pero nag-test ako, positive. Paano ako magbibilang? Eh di forever akong isolated kasi asymptomatic ako, ba? Eh sabi mo kanina, pag may symptoms ka, yun yung day one. Eh kung asymptomatic ako, di forever na akong isolated. Mali. Uh-uh. Kapag asymptomatic yung pasyente, yung bilang mo ng 10 days would be from the day na nagpa-swab ka. So uh-huh. from the day na nagpa-swab test ka to 10 days, kung positive ka, yun ngayon yung 10-day period mo. Kasi nga, alam nga namang magbilang ka ng symptoms, eh wala ka ng symptoms. So ang kukunin mo would be from the day na nagpa-test ka ng swab hanggang 10 days after. So yun yung contagion, contagious period. Now, so, paano nila na nagawa tong mga to? Paano nila na, 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 na-identify na ito yung period na, na kailangan mo lang mag-isolate? They did tests. And they found out na patients uh, who have moderate to severe infection Ah, sorry, mild to sev- mild to moderate infection by the 10th day and the 15th day period. Bumababa na y- actually every day na you have your symptoms, bumababa yung uh, number of virus na nagre-replicate in essence. So by the 10th day, konti na lang siya. Doon sa mga may severe symptoms, actually moderate to severe, sabi nila on the 10th day, 9 uh, 88% saka 95% halos wala nang makitang virus sa kanila. Pero meron pa ulit na sinasabi ang CDC na kapag severe yung symptoms mo, pwedeng mag-extend hanggang 20 days. So kung ang symptoms mo ay severe, they're recommending actually 10 to 20 days of isolation. But if you have mild to moderate or none at all symptoms, 10 days would be the safe period to say na hindi ka na makakahawa. So ang kailangan nating tandaan, 10 and 20. 10 days kapag asymptomatic to mildly symptomatic, 20 days would be for moderate to severely symptomatic patients. Mm. That clear? From children? the moment ng onset. 
from yes, the you're yung talking onset about ng the symptoms. Oo, oh, oh. hindi yung oh, oh. Oh, same kunyari. goes with presymptomatic. Ano na? Same goes with presymptomatic yung after a week pa lalabas. So ang ang bilang mo pa rin yung time na ano symptoms. See, you never know. Oo, oh, oh. symptoms oh, doon sa time. Actually, mas madaling magbilang kung may symptoms ka. Yun nga yung... That's Actually, that's 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 Kasi kung wala kang symptoms, medyo mahirap magbilang. Pero, kung lumabas ka na positive, ang bibilangan mo would be on the day na nagpa-test ka. Kasi, uh-huh. doon mo nakita na mayroon ka ng virus eh. At least, safe to say na, o, oh, yun yes. yung day one mo. And then, extend mo na lang siya. Yung dati kasi sabi nila seven days, parang ngayon lumabas na hanggang ten days, meron pa rin. So, sabi nila, by the tenth, 80 to 95 percent in essence, Uh, yung yung pag-decrease ng number of viral load or yung virus na nasa katawan mo. So, mas maganda, 10 to 20 days talaga yung pag-isolate mo. Ngayon, gusto ko i-ano eh, yun ah, kasi nakita ko doon dito sa article na to, um, magkaiba po yung isolation sa quarantine or isolate sa quarantine. Kapag sinabi mong isolate or isolation, ibig sabihin nito, may sakit ka. Yeah, isolate mo yung sarili mo sa mga taong walang sakit. Pero pag quarantine, wala ka pang sakit. Sineseparate mo na yung sarili mo dun sa mga tao kasi may chance na ikaw ay na-exclude. Na baka meron. You might be sick, but you're not yet sick. Yun yung quarantine. Okay. Kapag isolation or isolate, you already are known to be sick, positive ka na, ihihiwalay mo yung sarili mo sa mga taong healthy. So, dalawa Uh-oh. magkaiba yun. Yung kail- kailangan din natin i- I would say, re-emphasize. And kasi we use, ako, I would have to say, I, I have I've also used the, uh, used the rather, I've used the term loosely, no? So, para lang mas malinaw, pag-isolation, may sakit ka na, pag-quarantine, wala ka pang sakit. 